I suppose I was always a fan of, of watching the game when I was growing up, but we started a club in Carsevine in the Peninsula of Ibarra, um, called Ibarra Eagles in 2009, and I would have been one of the founding members. I spent years in Kildare um, working with racehorses, and I had friends that played for an ace rugby club, and they actually asked me to go and play, but I thought they'd kill me. And um, it was later in life that I started playing when we started the club. Yeah, everyone in my family is involved in rugby. I don't know what we would be doing without it. Um, both my sister and my brother are involved with Munster and my dad as well and then my mom does all the coordinating for trainings and how to get us where. Um, so yeah, our life literally revolves around rugby. Not always about yourself as well. They give up a lot of time to help us kind of succeed in our goals and the focus is rugby as well. But you have fun outside it as well, so it's good. A lot of people playing rugby in South Carolina wouldn't be where they are without our dad. I guess he taught us all we know. And then we, when we moved on to the Munster squads, he was at every single training session watching, trying to develop his own coaching skills as well, so he could help us and get more people from South Kerry up to that level as well. Good, I suppose when you have three that are able to achieve um, wearing the red jersey, that's, that's massive. It's massive. Um, when, when they're winning games for once or even playing from a representative, running out in Tolman Park or Musgrave Park or whatever it is, um, it's some feeling.